In the previous presentation, we analyzed the internal circuit of two port system with the load resistance and in this lecture we will analyze the internal circuit of two port system with the source resistance. You can see in this circuit we do not have the load resistance RL and we will connect the source voltage Vs with the internal source resistance RS. RS is the source resistance and the prime aim in this lecture is to find out effect of source resistance RS on the voltage gain. We will find out effect of source resistance RS on the voltage gain. This is our prime aim. But first we will talk about input impedance and the output impedance. We already know input impedance is the impedance seen from these two terminals and the output impedance ZO is the impedance seen from these two terminals and you can clearly see the input impedance is equal to Ri the input impedance is equal to resistance Ri and this is same as compared to the two port system having the load resistance this is same as two port system having the load resistance RL only load resistance RL there is no source resistance RS present and uh, the output impedance the output impedance may change may change because of the source resistance the output impedance may change because of source resistance RS and if we talk about the voltage gain under the no load condition this means AV and L then it will also remain same the voltage gain under the no load condition will also remain same as the two port system having only the load resistance so these are three important points that you must know now we will find out voltage gain of this two port system and first we will calculate first we will calculate the input voltage vi and to calculate the input voltage vi we will simply use the voltage divider rule if you redraw the input circuit you will have something like this there is one resistance rs connected in series with the other resistance ri and voltage source Vs is connected like this and Vi the input voltage is the voltage across the resistance Ri so Vi is the voltage across the resistance Ri and by using the voltage divider rule Vi is equal to resistance Ri multiplied with the source voltage Vs divided by Ri plus Rs and if you remember the first presentation of two port systems approach we found Vo is equal to AV and L Vi we already have Vi and by putting Vi in this equation we have the output voltage Vo output voltage Vo is equal to a v n l multiplied with r i divided by r i plus r s multiplied with v s and now we will divide both the sides by v s we will divide both the sides by v s this will give us v o by v s on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have a v n l r i divided by r i plus r s v s by v s will cancel out and uh, we already know output voltage by the source voltage is the overall voltage gain is the overall voltage gain a v s in the last lecture when we only had the load resistance the voltage gain was the loaded voltage gain a v l but in this case the voltage gain is AVS the overall 
the overall voltage gain and we will analyze how the overall voltage gain is dependent on the source resistance rs you can see on increasing the source resistance the denominator will also increase and when denominator is increasing and numerator is fixed then ri by ri plus rs will decrease and because of this avs will also decrease so the overall voltage gain avs is inversely proportional to the source resistance overall voltage gain is also dependent on the no load voltage gain and the no load voltage gain is always greater than the overall voltage gain because ri divided by ri plus rs is always less than 1 and because of this reason avs is always smaller than avnl so this is the next important point a vs is always less than a v n l so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will analyze the internal circuit of two port system with source resistance as well as the load resistance so see you in the next one